Hello leaders, Patrick Jinx here, leadership and strategy coach and president of the Jinx Perspective. How do you spell love? Let's cue it up. Okay, shout out to my good friend and fellow leadership coach, Steve Goble of the Goble Group for this one. And he doesn't take credit for coming up with it either, but he's who I got it from, so kudos to him. In a recent podcast episode of ours, Steve shared the question he picked up from someone and he just couldn't recall where. But the question was this, how do children spell love? And the answer was T-I-M-E. Spending quality time with children communicates volumes to them. Well, because our podcast is about leadership, I couldn't help but make the parallel to the organizational context. How do you think your employees spell love? (laughs) M-O-N-E-Y? P-R-A-I-S-E? Or maybe just stay out of my (laughs) W-A-Y? Perhaps, but I would suggest that many of them would spell it the same way our children do. T-I-M-E. What kind of time do you spend with your team? I'm not talking about family vacations or bowling outings. I just mean right there at work. And yes, even virtually during a pandemic. I remember coaching a corporate executive once who was a wonderful person, but his peers for some reason didn't see him as warm and personable and he wanted to change that. So I followed him around for a day and I watched him interact with his people. He was cordial enough. He would ask them how they were doing, for example, like we all do, but then he would go straight to mission. Have you had a chance to work on that summary report yet? Or are you going to be able to make the manager's meeting this afternoon? Or when do you think we're going to be able to get a look at that budget? And then it was on to the next thing. So I asked him, how often do you simply go to one of your team members with no mission in mind? You just sit down and check in with them on a more personal level. I asked him to come up with some things he might be able to talk about in those situations with no mission in mind. And he struggled a little bit, but then he started to generate some reasonable and even really good thoughts. I could ask how Thanksgiving was, or I could talk about the game. He loves the Dallas Cowboys. I could ask him if there was anything I could do to better serve him and his team. I could ask about anything he felt like I might need to be aware of. These were small examples, but the idea was to slow down and connect. Mission is critical. It is the center point of our work, to be sure. But relationship is what drives mission because team drives mission. Do you know what the top driver of employee engagement is? Hint, it's not money and it's not awards. And it's not a great health care plan. It's the health of the relationship between an employee and their immediate supervisor. In what ways are you intentionally building and fostering those relationships? Don't forget one of the key ingredients, T-I-M-E. It's not a waste. It's part of leadership. Foster a trusting, respectful, and caring relationship with your team members, and they'll go above and beyond. You'll get the time back with interest. And by the way, with our physical world turned upside down right now, leaders can't afford to simply say, well, I'd like to be spending more quality time with my team right now, but we're in a pandemic, so I can't. Instead, you have to get more creative and figure out new ways to go even further than you normally would. One of the biggest pain points right now in organizations is the lack and loss of connection. Find a way. Find multiple new ways. Be intentional. Be present, not just accessible. Your team will L-O-V-E you for it. That's the Jinx Perspective for this week. As always, if you'd like to explore ways that the Jinx Perspective can help you and your organization achieve greater clarity, simplicity, and alignment in your mission work, I hope you'll reach out and schedule a free discovery call with me by clicking the link that's in the video description below this video. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel below and click the bell icon to notify you when we drop new episodes. Finally, as always, pay it forward and share this with a colleague you think could benefit from it. And we'll see you here next week.